What's up guys, Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Luckperm's chat. Luckperm's chat is an add-on plugin for Luckperm's from another developer that adds easy chat formatting for different groups. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, search for Luckperm's chat, install a version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the speaker page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Keep in mind that the plugin also requires the Luckperms plugin to work properly, and if you'd like to have placeholders from other plugins, make sure you have Placeholder API installed as well. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. The plugin comes with some basic placeholders shown on screen now. Of course, if you have Placeholder API, you can use most of those within this plugin as well. So to start, what can we format in our chat? Well, we can add one or more prefix or suffixes, use placeholders, and even change the color of our name and messages based on what group a user is in. So let's start with prefixes. Using slash LP group followed by a group name, meta, set prefix, followed by a weight number, then some text inside of quotation marks, we can set a prefix. The weight is any number, and the higher this number is, the more important it is. If a user has multiple prefixes, then the one with the highest number will show first. I'll add a prefix for the admin and moderator group. I have admin, and the other account on the server has the moderator group. Then I'll do the same, but for the moderator group, using different colors. We can use standard Minecraft color formatting codes, and the last format code I put in right before the end of the prefix affects how our name is styled. Saying something on both accounts again, you can see how formatting has changed. Want extra customization? Well, we can also use hex color codes. I'll enter the admin command that we used earlier, but this time I'll replace and D, which is the light purple color, and I'll make it something different. I'll enter and hash 00FF00 in place of and D. This means 0 red, 255 green, and 0 blue. So when I type in chat, you'll see that my group name is an incredibly bright green. Let's add a second prefix. In Luckperms, I've added the admin group to myself, so I'm still in the default group. Let's add a prefix to the default group. Slash LP group default meta set prefix 10 player. Typing something in chat, we still see just the admin group. Why is that? Well, even though the spigot page shows it working, we need to change something in our config first. Simply locate the config in the plugin folder, and because this plugin is almost completely controlled from in-game chat commands, there isn't much config. Opening the one and only file, config.yml, we see the one and only setting. All we need to do is change the prefix to prefixes, save the file, and then run slash LPC reload to reload the plugin from the config. Typing something in chat, now we see both user group prefixes. The same would apply to setting one or more suffixes. We can also use custom placeholders. I've got placeholder API installed, but I don't have any add-ons for it. The Luckperms chat speaker page has an example with the player add-on. So that's exactly what I'll be using here. Let's add the add-on to our placeholder API plugin slash PAPI eCloud download player and slash PAPI reload. Now let's add this placeholder in the config. Let's pick a place to put it. I'll place it before the prefix like they have in the example. I'll click inside the quotation marks and enter my placeholder. I'll use brackets and in orange, we'll enter the player's game mode. So add eight, open brackets, add six, percentage player underscore game mode, percentage, which is the placeholder, and eight, close brackets. Saving and running slash LPC reload in game, we see that after sending a message, our game mode is in chat next to our name. Awesome! So, how do we change the color of our text? Or this custom placeholder we added based on user groups? Well, it's not the most intuitive, but it's still pretty simple. All we need to do is set a placeholder color in game for each group and then add it to our config. The plugin has two that we can use message color and dummy color. Let's set a message color. I'll set the message color to red for admins. So I'll run slash LP group admin meta set and inside of inverted commas, we'll enter message hyphen color space and a color inside of inverted commas as well. So and C. In the config, we just need to replace and R with message color inside of curly braces. 
saving and using slash LPC reload, then saying something in chat, you can see that our message is now in red. For normal players, text is still white. To set the color of our custom placeholder, we'll use another placeholder that we can add to our groups, the dummy color. Slash LP, group, admin, meta, set, dummy color, and five. Everywhere that we add this dummy color in our config, text will appear as purple after it. So in place of add six, right before our player underscore game mode placeholder, I'll add dummy hyphen color inside of curly braces. Saving and using slash LPC reload, our game mode color is now purple and other players still have the default white color. Unfortunately, you can't set your own placeholder colors, they have to be one of these two. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao!